Okay, let us see a practical problem for fractions. Right? In a school, so there is a school. Okay, three seventh of the students are boys, while the rest are girls. So we are told that the boys are three divided by seven of total students and the rest of them are girls okay which of the two are greater in number so whether boys or girls who is greater in number and by what fraction now we know that the complete stuff the complete school comprises of boys and girls the boys are 3 7th so what's the number of girls which is there the number of girls will be equal to so what's the complete if 3 upon 7 are the boys then the total is what 7 upon 7 or 1 right the complete whole in case of fraction is referred to as 1 if 3 7th of the total students are boys then the girls are 1 minus 3 upon 7 right so you write 7 over here right so 1 upon 1 minus 3 upon 7 okay now if you take the LCM of 7 and 1 you will get 7 7 goes into 1 7 times 7 into 1 is 7 minus 3 4 upon 7 right so the girls in the school are 4 upon 7 of total students right so the girls are 4 by 7 the boys are 3 by 7 now in case of fractions we know the property that if the denominator are same then the fraction whose numerator is greater is larger so in this case the fraction which is larger is that of girls because that has 4 as numerator while the boys have 3 hence which of the two are greater the girls in number and by what fraction so how much are they greater in number than the boys so that can be equally found by 4 upon 7 minus 3 upon 7 right in order to solve this we just take the LCM of these two numbers which is nothing but 7 right and how do you solve it in case of fractions having common denominator or like fractions this can be solved by the difference of the numerators so 4 minus 3 1 upon 7 so the girls are greater than the boys in numbers and the fraction by which they are more is 1 upon 7 right if you see this can also be looked at pictorically so let's say 2 3 4 5 6 7 now there are 7 parts in which the students are divided right we know that the boys represent 3 of these 7 parts right now if we were to plot so the balance is basically the girls which is how many parts and these are 4 parts out of 7 right hence the number of girls is how much 4 by 7 now the next question you were asked was what if let's say for example I'm sorry this has kind of gone off if 3 by 7 is boys and let's represent the girls by yellow an equal number of girls if we plot again has to be covered an area of 3 by 7 so the balance area which is left which is towards the girls is the one by which they are in excess and how much is this area it's only one out of the total seven parts so one by seven which is what we got over here also 
right? 